8BitDo has released firmware updates for several of their devices to add support for the Nintendo Switch 2. One of those devices is the 8BitDo USB Wireless Adapter 2, which we will cover in this guide. The first step is downloading the firmware updater that can be found on the 8BitDo website. Select the support link at the top of the page which takes you to a list of all the various 8BitDo products. If we locate our USB wireless adapter and hover over it, we can view the changes from recent and past firmware updates. The most recent is what we're interested in, so hovering back over our device reveals a firmware updater link. Download the upgrade tool, extract it, and then run the app. If you have an older version of the firmware update tool, a message will appear. I recommend updating it before moving on to applying the latest firmware patch on our USB adapter. You should now see a message prompting you to connect your 8BitDo device to your PC. Once it's connected and detected, the software will find the latest firmware update available for your adapter. Click the update button to begin the update process, which may take a few minutes. If you're already on the latest firmware version, it will simply display the current firmware installed on the adapter. Before the Nintendo Switch 2 will recognize our controller, we need to enable the wired communication option in the settings. To find it, visit the system settings, scroll down to the controllers and accessories tab, and finally scroll down to and enable the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller wire communication option. Without enabling this feature, the Nintendo Switch 2 will not detect our controller even if it's paired to the adapter. This should be the easy part, but different controllers have various methods for entering pair mode. For example, the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller enters pair mode when you hold the share button along with the PlayStation button. For Xbox controllers, the pair button is located on top. Holding it will cause the Xbox button to blink. With the controller in pair mode, press the button on the 8BitDo wireless USB adapter 2. It will begin blinking too. When the adapter detects your controller, it should connect and work as expected. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the performance of the 8BitDo wireless USB adapter 2 on my Nintendo Switch 2. One downside I've noticed though, is that it can't wake the console, but that's not too surprising considering Nintendo doesn't even allow older Pro Controllers to wake the system. As always, thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I've also included a bit of gameplay showing me using the adapter with an Xbox Series X controller on the Switch 2.